Hello and welcome to the Babri Young channel. This is part two of my um, upcycling project to take a curtain and turn it into a dress. Now I had done a part one where I explained what it is that I'm doing so I will link that link link that um, in the video in the description or you know I'll link that to that video so you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing but um, basically, I'm going to take my curtain, which I have here, and my pattern, which I have here, and make a dress. So I'm upcycling a curtain into a wearable item. Oh, hopefully I am anyway. I mean, I've got my pattern, which is a pattern that I've made myself, and I'm not a dressmaker. I don't I haven't done any pattern designing stuff. I have no skills and knowledge in it so this will be interesting um, but even though I have done some testing and experimenting a little with trying to come up with this uh, pattern I think it's worked quite well I've got a whole load of um, notes and stuff that I've done so hopefully you know I've wrote things down I'll be able to get it together I did have a couple of issues with a few bits and pieces but I think I've resolved those now so hopefully it should come together quite quickly I've even already done a plan this is this is a, a, a basically a quick diagram I know you can't see it from this distance but <laughs> it's it's a plan of how I'm going to lay out the pattern pieces on here so I can get as much out as I can and supposedly I should have a section at the bottom that I got left free um, which will be helpful if I happen to make any mistakes but I certainly hope not because unlike if you buy some material and you go to make something and you make a little bit of an error you can go okay I've got a bit of material left I might even be able to buy some more material and I can finish the project with this I've got the one curtain and that's all I've got so hopefully no mistakes from that and uh, be able to have a nice uh, garment at the end of it the other thing was is what we're going to use for things like uh, closures and thread. Now I wasn't quite sure what thread I was going to use. I had a little look through my stash and I did find some curtain, sorry, some thread that I thought matched my curtains really well. And well, I've forgotten I bought this. Get me my curtain. And now this is called copper, the colour for this stump thread. And as you can see, well, that pretty much is the same. So I'm really glad I've got, I've got two rolls of this, which are two reels, I won't need two reels, but there you go, just the one will probably do it. Um, so yeah, wow, I'm surprised, I'm really surprised at finding myself with a thread that matches so well. Uh, the other thing was closures, buttons, because I've got two buttons on either side, and then the buttons up the top here. And now, I suppose again, a bit on the thrifting side, I'd been looking for buttons just recently and going out and finding some buttons and I was actually in a, um, what would it be, a plant place, you know, like a, um, where you go and buy your plants, and not, not a DIY store but, you know, nursery type plants and stuff and in there was actually a section where they had like material um, for sale but like, like bed sheets and stuff like that and they were all reduced. I didn't get any at the time, I should have done, I'll probably go back and see if they've still got loads and they did have a really a couple of big shelves full of the stuff, tablecloths that you could use for things and there was a whole load of buttons in there in bags and like it was a big bag of buttons, as far as I'm concerned, big bag, for 75 pence. So I think there's something stupid like 50 buttons. I know a lot of them were small ones but they had some bigger ones as well and what I found in the stash when I was going through it was these buttons, like they're like the round ones, they are meant to be a bit like leather ones, but they're not leather these ones are they, you can tell they're not leather, but they've got the, the post on the back so that'll work quite well because when I do the side part there's a bit of thickness here with the material so you need something like that, so I've got four of them and because they're out of like a mixed bag they're not all exactly the same colour. So. I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy that they're going to be a slight mismatch 
because that adds a bit of like that, I don't know, call it cottagey authentic feel about it. And then for the two buttons at the top, I've gone with these two. And no, they don't quite match neither, do they? They're slightly different buttons, which is fine with me. It's very slightly different sizes, but pretty much the same. Um, but they are slightly different buttons, which <laughs> I'm happy to go with. And these are slightly red, got a red hint to them because, I mean, copper, copper and red, I mean, it's not too far, but also brown leathery style buttons. So that's what I've got. I've got everything now that I need to make this dress from that curtain. So next stage is get it out, get it planned out. I've got done all that and uh, get and start cutting it out so I can get it all together. <music> finally managed to get everything cut out. Um, it took a little bit longer than I wanted really and this material was uh, a little bit tricky to cut. I mean it's only cotton but because it's got this almost like needle corduroy type I don't know how to explain it. It's the only thing I can explain it as. It's a corduroy but it's very a fine um, type you know um, on there which means that cutting it out it was a little tricky it wasn't quite as simple as I hoped not like a plain cotton but it has come out and it's um, looking all good so just need to start sewing it up really I mean I've even got quite a bit left over from it which is surprising so just in case I do have any issues hopefully I've got enough to um, do any corrections but let's hope that it doesn't come to that touch wood so <laughs> yeah Better get on, start to um, actually sewing it together. <music> Thank you. 
almost there. It's uh, coming together quite well. Um, it's um, all pretty much sewn up now, except for um, putting the uh, the buttons and doing the, the buttonholes and for the closure on here. Other than that, it is pretty much done. Um, but it's taken a lot longer than I expected. Um, I'm still not quite finished. I had a couple of issues really. One of them was with the straps. Um, quite early on I found out that this stuff, and if you can see that, does have a bit of stretch to it, a bit of give, but only in one direction. So these, which were the tabs from the top of the curtain, I was going to use to make the straps. But the trouble being is that with that bit of stretch, I didn't want there to be stretch in the tab. So I basically had to redo them, but with it the other way. So I've not got any stretch against it. So it, you know, the last thing you want is over the shoulder strap stretching at all while you're wearing it. So that would be a bit of a pain. So I had to redo then, used up a bit more material than I wanted, but um, it didn't matter because I mean, there was still a little bit of material left, but that was a bit of an issue to start with. And then I very quickly realised that this stuff frays out like buggery. It really is. It's like, you know, this this doesn't, you can see it just wants to fall apart. Um, so it's not very good on the edges in on in that line. Across there, across wise, it, it seems all right. It's quite stable. But um, but yeah, it does fray out quite a bit, which meant that I was having to make sure that as soon as I'd sewn something, I did the seams and finished the seams off just so they didn't end up fraying out all over the place, um, which meant it was a lot slower for construction. And um, so that slowed me down. So I was hoping to have finished it by now and have it all done. Um, but no, still still on it. And uh, it, uh, it's only taken me... This is day three, I think, yeah, of doing this. So, But it is almost done. Just buttons now really so I think what I'm going to do is do a bit of practice on a bit of the material to see how the buttonhole will go before I try and do them on on the main piece and hopefully that'll be a fairly quick affair No, my luck probably end up taking a couple of hours but <laughs> sounds like forever doesn't it but you know it'll soon be done and finally it is done and as you can see it looks lovely. Well, at least I think it looks lovely anyway. Um, it's quite really nice. It fits really nicely. And uh, it just, I don't know, just seems to be a really nice outfit, which uh, is surprising considering I haven't made anything like this before. And I think it looks absolutely lovely. A couple of design detail changes along the way as I've gone. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with this. Considering it was... Um, started life as just an idea which was basically to do a basic pinafore dress um, which <laughs> I'd never made anything like that before starting with the idea that I'd done by using some old curtains that I'd cut off which were my original mock-ups so I mean started with with this thing which was it's really really rough it really was just some rectangles and triangle no rectangles and squares um, that I put together to make that and then from that I then made this one again from um, from leftover curtains that I'd been using um, this time getting a bit of an idea of shape and uh, how to do the closures on it and uh, from that that was actually done before I did the pattern and then from that I worked out my pattern <laughs> um, which I say, really, it's, it is really still just a bunch of um, rectangles and squares um, and put together, and uh, and yeah, and then when I saw the uh, the curtain, this one, which is what it's from, there's not much left of it now. As you can see, there's only a little bit left there. So I mean, I'm not quite sure what I could use that last little bit for, but I do have a little bit left. So there you go. It uh, ended up being this uh, this pinafore dress. Now along with doing this I was going to choose some other buttons but those buttons when I put a couple on the sides I found that because they were quite domed they were quite heavy weight they weren't heavy hand wise not in physical weight 
but they seem to be quite a bulky and notice that seemed to strain on the buttonhole so I've, I've gone with something completely different on just so as you can see I've got a red one and a white one uh, but say on both sides and they're just more of that traditional sort of flat button um, and I've got the two red buttons at the top here just because they seem to fit better and sit better with the buttonholes because it's a slightly bulky material and yeah it's, uh, it's gone quite well so that is my upcycle 22 I suppose I say I'm not officially um, taking part in it in any way shape or form I just saw it and saw that curtain remembered I'd got this pattern I've been working on so why not give it a go and everything it has been used from curtains and I mean there was a few design choices of things I was trying to develop like the um, like the buttonhole plackets openings that I hadn't quite worked out and so I did a couple of uh, um, test pieces to work out how I was actually going to get them in and they've come out quite well I must admit they, um, they really are as I designed them so and I'm glad it worked even though I did have to sort of change as I was going along I did change it very slightly in the way that I was putting it together but the actual design and the way it works is still the same so yeah all in all a really good make learned a lot in making this because before this I hadn't tried pattern drafting my own pattern of any sort even something as simple as this so this was a real learning curve and I really really enjoyed doing it so there we go upcycle something have a go and um, I think it uh, could easily turn out really quite nice well thank you very much for watching my video I look forward to seeing my next video bye